Hello and welcome to the Future Fuel Cafe. In this video, we're gonna be looking at what in-video AI can do for you, specifically looking at how it can make videos based off of recent events, where you use nothing more than a basic prompt, and you can also use a link to that news article or whatever it may be where it explains what that recent event is. In video, we'll take that information and create a video based off of that. So for this video, I've got two specific examples of how I would use it. So uh, let's get on with the video. Let's jump onto my laptop and we'll get straight on with it. So the first one we're gonna look at is to do with AI. And this is about the best AI tools that are productive and this article it basically just gives you a list of 36 different AI apps that it recommends. So we're gonna use this as the web link for the video. So let's go ahead and copy this. I mean, if you wanna have a quick look at it, you get the idea, right? You can go down, get different things it says. Anyway, we're only using this as a baseline for in-video AI to base the video off, and then it will also do its own magic things as well. So let's jump over now to the in-video website. Again, in a previous video, I've already shown you how to sign up to this, what the whole website looks like. So I want to assume you've already done that and you're familiar with this web page right here. If not, the video is linked down below so you can familiarize yourself with it and then of course come back to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here, create an AI video. We're going to select a workflow and what we're going to go to is the recent events video. And right here, you'll see it comes up with the uh, box so we can give it more detail. First, let's paste in the link and we know straight away then that we're telling it this is what we want you to base it off the best ai apps and simply we can put in create a short engaging video about the best ai apps that people can use to be more productive there we go and then down here, we can go to use. We can say uh, the genders, let's go male for this. And then we will go for, what have I not tried yet? Northern English voice. I've actually not tried this one yet. So let's give that a go. And then down here again, we can say how much do we want to use of the stock library? So again, because I've already paid for this for a premium to make these series of videos about NVIDIA AI, I have access to the stock library, which is, you know, better content supposedly. So, you know, let's go prefer using iStock when can, only use iStock. Yeah, let's go that one. So now we can press continue and we can press generate video and we'll see what it does. And just here now, so we get an extra bit of info we can give it, we can say to it, we want it to be for the audience, we want it to be for productivity seekers. Yeah, let's do that. And then here, look and feel. Now, oh, crisp, that is a new one. Normally I would go for minimalist modern. Professional is a bit bland for me personally when I've tried it, but then crisp, I've never actually seen. So let's give that a go. And then the platforms for YouTube, but of course then you can put it for Facebook, LinkedIn, or you can just basically use YouTube and then you can then take that video and resize it on like captions or any generic resizing tool on the internet or whatever you've got. So just like that, it has made the video. That probably took a few minutes. So it, it's here in front of us. So I mean, what I'm gonna do straight off now is go ahead and just play the whole video. It's two minutes, 29, and then I'll give you my feedback about it after. Curious to know how artificial intelligence can transform your productivity. Wondering which AI apps can significantly boost your efficiency. In today's digital world, harnessing the power of AI can be a game changer for both personal and professional productivity. First on our list is Jasper. This AI writing assistant crafts video topics, titles, and scripts, and even helps create digital products like eBooks and workbooks. For those in digital marketing or content creation, Jasper can be a significant asset. Next up is Shortwave, an AI tool developed by former Google employees. Shortwave uses the GPT-3 language model to summarize emails, prioritizing conversations, and categorizing the rest. With a simple click on the summarize button, you can get a concise version of an email saving precious time. Then there is ChatGPT. A product of Microsoft's partnership with OpenAI, ChatGPT is integrated into workplace emails, slideshows, and spreadsheets. With tools like ChatGPT, businesses can streamline their operations and enhance productivity. Another AI tool to consider is ProWritingAid. It is a grammar checker and rewording tool that can enhance your written communication. 
Whether you are writing a business proposal or an academic paper, Pro Writing Aid ensures your writing is clear, concise, and error-free. Looking for an AI app to manage your schedule? Consider Clockwise. This AI tool helps you schedule your tasks, ensuring you make the most of your time. Lastly, we have Zapier. This automation tool can connect your apps and automate workflows, saving you time and effort on routine tasks. In summary, AI apps like Jasper, Shortwave, ChatGPT, ProWritingAid, Clockwise, and Zapier can significantly boost your productivity. They save time, enhance efficiency, and streamline operations, giving you more room to focus on what truly matters. Remember, while these tools can be incredibly helpful, it is essential to use them responsibly. Ensure you check the AI's work with your judgment and use these tools to enhance, not replace your skills. Harness the power of AI and transform your productivity today. That has done a pretty damn good job, I have to say. There's a couple of scenes in there that I would change, go in there and fiddle about with. But for me, really, I, I, I'm really pretty blown away with that. It's done those tools, I've heard of a few of them. The one or two I haven't, I'm not really too familiar with. But you've just seen how easy it is to do something like this. And if you can go and put that out on social media, download it, use it, do, do whatever you want with it. But this is just crazy, the fact you can do this. And this will 10 times the output for your social media content, whatever, again, you're creating. And it's, it's really something else. I'm gonna say that's perfect. I'd go ahead and download it and then put it out there. But again, in the previous video, I've shown you how you can go in and change it, edit it, do all that sort of stuff. But that's the first video. So let's get on with the second one. This video is gonna be about the top five, maybe 10 beaches in Europe. And I've got an article that I'm gonna use, again, the same as last time. And then we're gonna let NVIDIA AI decide the rest, really, and see what it produces. So if you want some beach ideas for your next vacation, next holiday, then this is the video for you. <laughs> so let's do it. This is 20 of Europe's most stunning beaches to explore in 2023. So um, you can come down, have a quick look, different countries, Norway, Corsica, Spain, and just different places. So anyway, let's copy the address here, and then we're gonna go back to NVIDIA AI, and the same as last time, create an AI video. We're gonna select the recent events video workflow, and then up here, we are gonna paste in the link. So it's from Lonely Planet. I do like Lonely Planet, to be fair. Helped me in many a time. There's always been a good read on a long bus ride. So yeah, always a good read. Anyway, we're gonna say here, make a fun, entertaining, engaging video showing the best 10 beaches in Europe. There we go. And we're gonna leave it with that and see what it does. This time, let's select the female. We will go for a, I'm trying to think, let's do a young or oh, Northern English voice as a female. That'll be interesting, let's try that again. There's so many things you can play around with for news, I'm quite entertained. And then this time, let's say, let's use the iStop normally and see what other stock video footage or pictures it finds and there uh, should be like a nice 50-50 split. So yeah, let's press continue and have a look. So that's it, press generate the video, and then straight away it's doing its thing. Now we can go audience again. We will go, yeah, beach lovers, yeah. We want the beach, let's go for beach lovers, and we will go look and feel, we will go summer. And then we will leave it on the YouTube, and then you can edit again that, like I said, later on once you've exported the video. So yeah, let's press continue and see what it does. I am genuinely, genuinely really intrigued to see what it does here. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, same as last time. I'm just gonna press play and give you my reaction after I've finished watching it. Starting off at number 10, we have Hawkland Beach in Norway. Not your typical sun and sand destination. Hawkland is a spectacle of nature's beauty offering a tranquil setting with its white sands against a backdrop of towering mountains. Next up, at number 9, we journey to Sardinia, Italy, where we find Cala Golorizza. This beach is a gem hidden away in the Mediterranean, known for its turquoise waters and limestone cliffs. At number 8, we have the West Beach in the Outer Hebrides, Scotland. This beach is a paradise for those who love untouched natural beauty, with its miles of white sands and azure waters. Number seven takes us to Corsica, France, home to the stunning Plage de Palombagia. This beach is renowned for its pristine waters 
and a landscape dotted with pine trees. Coming in at number six, we're off to sunny Spain, where we find the mesmerizing Platja elites in Formentera. Known for its Caribbean-like waters, this beach is a must visit for those craving a tropical experience in Europe. Halfway through, at number five, we have Barrafundal Bay in Wales. This secluded bay, with its golden sands and clear waters, is often hailed as one of the best beaches in the world. Number four takes us to Portugal, where we find Praia da Arifana in the Algarve. This beach, with its dramatic cliffs and surf-ready waves, is perfect for those seeking a bit of adventure. At number three, we're back in Spain, but this time in Menorca, where we find the breathtaking Cala Macarela. This beach is famous for its crystal clear waters and white sandy beach. Runner-up at number two is the iconic Navagio Beach in Zakynthos, Greece. Also known as Shipwreck Beach, this spot offers stunning views of an old shipwreck against the backdrop of towering limestone cliffs. And finally at number one, we have the breathtaking Platja de Colbaí in Mallorca, Spain. This secluded beach, accessible only by a hike or a boat ride, is a slice of paradise with its clear azure waters and surrounding natural beauty. So, there you have it. The top 10 beaches in Europe that are sure to take your breath away. Whether you're a nature lover, adventure seeker, or simply someone looking for a tranquil getaway, these beaches offer something for everyone. So pack your bags and get ready to explore these stunning destinations. Happy travels. That was, yeah, that, that was pretty impressive. I've got to be honest. I mean, you could say a couple of things again with the, the videos, you could go in there and tweak it. But again, AI has just made this. There's no, it, I, yeah, I, I, just, <laughs> I just can't fathom how it does this. It, it's crazy. And it does good selection of clips I like. There's a couple where I, again, go in there, change it. But I'm being picky. As an overall, if you're someone who's just doing this and wants to put it out, I think that's pretty acceptable. The one thing that I would change though is the voice. It sounded a little bit robotic sounded. I wouldn't say it sounded too Northern British as well. But again, that's easy to change. You just put a prompt in and change that. But overall, this is incredible. This is flat out incredible. I would say both of those videos that were made are pretty damn acceptable to say it was based off of one prompt on a couple of little nitty gritty details and one web link, you know, one web page and it goes off and finds others related to it. All of it, it's just insane that this exists right now and that this technology is gonna get better and better and better. But I mean, is this for you? Again, if you make videos that are like this, or you're intrigued in making videos that have different topics or this or that, or a faceless YouTube channel, I think this is seriously something you should consider. And at the very least, again, they have a free account. You can go in there, use it, play around with it, see what you can do with it, and then see if it's for you or not. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you found it helpful and this, you know, inspired you, showed you what's out there. Maybe you are completely blown away by what this even exists. So whatever you think, comment down below and let me know your opinion. I really wanna know. Let me know if there's something else out there. Let me know if there's something I missed, any AI software that you think I should be looking at right now. Subscribe to the channel, check out the podcast as well, so where I'm interviewing interesting people about this and having all different characters from life, you know, different walks of life who can inspire you and I learn, you learn, and it's just an interesting conversation. So other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.